What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So today I've got another interesting Osu video for you where I'll be covering a topic that a lot of you have been suffering with. Basically, if you have a large number of Osu songs up in the tens of thousands, it's probably taking up gigabytes upon gigabytes. And of course, if you installed the game a long time ago on your SSD or a really small drive without realizing how much space this game can actually take, your hard disk may be completely eaten up by the Osu songs folder. How do we move just that folder onto another drive without having to reinstall Osu completely? Well, it's a very widely known simple thing that's basically built into Windows called a symlink or a symlink junction. Basically, we move the folder from one disk to another and create a pointer or a shortcut between the two. So when we fire up Osu, it'll find all of the songs in the normal default place. Meanwhile, they'll actually be physically located on another drive. It's really cool, really efficient, and of course doesn't have any impact on gameplay. It just saves you space on one hard disk or SSD instead of another. I've received a ton of requests to do this, especially in my previous videos where I talked about optimizing disk space in Osu and a couple of my other Osu tutorials and other videos. So that's exactly what I'll be covering today. Of course, usually you'll have to download different bits of software and type in different commands to create a sim link, etc, etc. But I've decided to make it incredibly simple even for the newbiest of PC users. In the past, I created a program that is open source and free for anyone to download that allows them to save tons of disk space by removing backgrounds. If you use a custom skin, you can remove unused skin elements from songs, etc, etc, and save yourself a huge amount of disk space. Now, with today's update that I've just pushed for it, you can now go ahead and click a very simple button to move your songs folder from one drive to another, and it creates a sim link for you. It's super simple, and it's really just one button press and picking a folder away from saving you tons of disk space on your SSD, etc, etc. So, in the description down below, you'll find a link to this page. Clean Osu Cleaner, Techno Osu Cleaner. When you get to this page, you'll see a download latest button over here, and that's simply what you need to click. If you'd like to find out more information on the project, it is open source, so you're more than free to go through the code, make sure it's safe, and even add to it. If you do add to it, let me know, and I can go ahead and add your features to this public release. Scrolling down on this page, you'll also find more information about setting up and using the software. There's currently no installation. As soon as you click that download latest button, scroll down to the bottom, and you download one of these two over here, it doesn't really matter. Though, of course, to download the 7-zip compressed file, you'll need 7-zip installed, so I'll be downloading the zip over here. All you have to do is extract the folder that's inside of this, as it's a portable program and doesn't need to be installed. I'll simply drag this out onto my desktop, close out of the zip, and open up the folder. Now, inside of here, we have all of the files that we need to get the program to run. Though, assuming it doesn't run for you for some reason, head across to the GitHub page once again, and you'll find a link down here required runtimes, download and install. You'll find a link to Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5.2 runtime at the time of recording, and you can use any one of these three links over here to go ahead and install it. I'd recommend the web installer over here, download it, install it, and then simply try to fire up the program once again. You can fire it up by simply double clicking on Techno Osu Cleaner. So after it opens up, you should see the folder location at the very top. If you navigate across to this, you'll find all of your OSU files inside of this directory. As you can see, I already have some linked folders over here, but of course, these are my original ones, and I've just renamed this folder over here, as I don't really want to create another sim link, as I've moved my songs across to another drive. But for this video, I have my songs folder over here on my C drive, the same one as Windows. It's taking up a whopping 30 or so gigabytes, if I go ahead and have a look at it, around 30 gigabytes distributed across 5,300 song folders inside of here. It's a huge amount of space, and of course, not only can we cut down on the space using this tool, but we can also click the Move Song Files, symbling button down here, and move this entire songs folder to another drive, saving us a full 30 gigabytes, or however big this folder is, on your C drive where your Windows is likely installed. 30 gigs may not sound like a lot, but if I have a look at my C drive over here, you can see my Windows drive is only about 500 gigabytes big, 465 available meaning 30 is a really good chunk of this drive, which I could be using on other programs that actually need the speed. So moving it across to a much slower, much bigger hard disk would be something I really need to do. Usually you'd cut this and create a sim link, but all that we have to do here is inside of the Osu Cleaner, click the Move Songs Files sim link button in the bottom right and pick a folder to move it to. Note that we're just gonna pick a folder to move it to and it'll create a songs folder in wherever we choose. I'll move it across to, say, my A drive, and I'll just drop it here. 
If I open up my A drive, you'll see that it looks like this. When I click OK, it should make a songs folder and copy across all of the files. So I'll hit OK and you'll immediately see a new file move dialog as such. This is busy moving all of the files across from the songs folder here into a songs folder here. There we go. You can see songs and it's slowly moving the files in. Now, of course, depending on how big this directory is and how slow or fast your drives are, this could take a really long time. For 30 gigs, over 70,000 odd files, it is going to take a couple of minutes. But of course, if you have more than 5,000 songs, as I've seen some people have up to 20 or 30,000, this could take a good chunk of time. So make sure to wait for this to complete fully before doing anything with your computer or at least closing this window and canceling it. You want to wait for this to finish. When it does finish, we'll have 30 gigs or however much freed out of our C drive and it will have 30 gigs taken up on the other drive that we just picked in that other folder. Note that once this does complete, you can't move the songs folder. You'll need to go ahead and change the sim link, but I'll show you that in just a moment right after this finishes. And there we have it. When you complete, you'll see a message on your screen saying it's done and you can hit OK. Now, if we have a look at our songs directory, you'll notice that the logo has changed. If we right click it and click properties, you'll see that it still says it's taking up 30 gigabytes or so. But at the very top, we now have a link properties section. This is where I mentioned the link is actually taking place. You can see the folder that it's currently linked in and its target. It's simply a junction. So if we have a look at the other drive over here, you'll see all of my songs inside of the songs folder. And this one also takes up 30 gigabytes. So the only one that's actually taking up space is the one on my other hard disk where I moved it to. If I'm ever going to move this folder over here, such as into the projects folder, I'll need to change the junction folder over here and enter, say, projects slash as such. After doing this and applying my changes, the songs folder will still be linked. Cool. So now that we've moved the songs folder off of our C drive into another place, that's basically it for this video. Of course, if you'd like to learn more about this Osu cleaner, make sure to check the description down below for a video on this. Just to give you a quick example, if we were going to delete, say, just the hit sounds, as well as skin elements, if you're currently using a custom skin, neither of these will show, how much space could you save on your hard disk? Well, if I click find and wait for it to finish, over 203 megabytes over 30 gigabytes. Doesn't sound like a huge amount, but let's say we want to delete the videos too. Now things really start adding up. If you don't actually have videos playing in the background, but a ton of your songs have videos in them, you could end up saving, say, seven gigabytes out of 30. It's a huge amount, and I'd highly recommend you check out this tool if you'd like to get rid of unused elements from your Osu song folder. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Again, links to the other video and the software will be in the description down below, and hopefully this has helped you simlink your songs folder from one drive to another, saving you lots and lots of space. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.